Hello, this is Mohsen. I'm going to be talking about the PU foam. This is an open foam based solver uh, we have developed in Politecnico di Torino and it is customized for, customized for expansion of polyurethane foam or PU. To tell you the story, I have decided to uh, describe it in three different chapters. I'm going to start talking about basically why we are doing this modeling in terms of motivation, what is polyurethane foam, and uh, what methods are available. Then I would uh, talk a little bit about the development and how we couple CFD with the uh, population balance equation, more specifically for PU foams. And then I would tell you about the implementation and validation, and I would try to finish up with some concluding remarks. So there are a lot of applications uh, that you can imagine about uh, PU foam. For example, the chair you are sitting is made by PO foam. There's a really big industry behind uh, PU uh, in terms of number of jobs that are being created. Uh, you can see, for example, in 2013, it was more than 200,000 jobs uh, only in US. So it makes sense to shift the process from uh, an operator-based uh, production to a modeling. Uh, basically to reduce the dependency of the process from operator's experience and rather shift it toward uh, uh, mathematical modeling. That's why we try to have a dedicated CFD solver only for PU foam expansion and include the solution of population balance equation to see the evolution of cell size distribution within PU foam. Okay, let's start learning a few technical terms about PU. When I say polyurethane, what, uh, what I mean is a very wide class of polymer with one urethane group in common. Uh, but what is more important in terms of modeling is the expansion of, po uh, expansion of polyurethane. So we usually mix polyols and isocyanate with other additives, which would be water or physical brain agent. Some reaction happens, different number of gases are being produced, and uh, those gases basically the main cause for expansion of PU foam. Um, two main reactions that are happening are gelling reaction, which is the reaction of isocyanate with polyol, which is making uh, polyurethane, and the second main reaction is blowing reaction, which is the reaction of isocyanate with water. What is important here is the production of um, CO2. That's another cause for expansion of PU. Um, so let's see what are the industrial concern and what is more important from an academic perspective. Uh, from an industrial partner's viewpoint, what would be important to know is the bubble size distribution, the polymerization progress, and since the PU is usually used to fill some cavities or, mo or mold, it's quite important to know how the interface is progressing. And of course, it is quite important to know the properties of the material, which would be density or viscosity, etc., etc. From a scientific perspective, it's actually quite a complicated system. We are we have polymerization happening. There are some reaction happening, so there are different number of gases are being produced. Due to that, we have bubble uh, growth and coalescence. The rheology of the rheology of the system is not necessarily very simple. And uh, same story is true for the kinetics. Previous models are either kinetic based or CFD based. For the kinetic based, we have a few a few number of ODE for kinetics and temperature. Then the foam is related to the kinetic. But what are missing are the interface and bubble size distribution. The CFD models are usually based on VOF. The interface is being captured here, but what is missing is the bubble size distribution. Okay, now let's see how we are approaching the problem. The first simplifying assumption that we have, we are assuming the foam is a pseudofluid. What I mean by pseudofluid is we are assuming the first phase is the liquid phase, including the air bubbles as well, and then the second phase is just the gas phase, uh, which is filling the rest of the cavity. So we have four main challenges here. First, we need to uh, get some information about the cell size distribution. For that, we solve a uh, population balance equation. We want to monitor the interface when the foam is expanding, so we are using volume of fluid method. Uh, then, during the polymerization, a lot of material properties are changing, so we need to include that one into the solver as well. And finally, the kinetic, which is uh, an important part of this solution. Um, so, let me walk you through each of these steps. First, we need to have the population balance. 
Why is it so important? Because the final uh, product, the final PU foam, uh, is dependable on the size, on the size of the cells. So we are solving a number density equation. To do so, we basically solve the population balance equation, which includes uh, accumulation, convection, and two sources for growth and coalescence. The two growth and coalescence terms are related to the to the kinetics of the reaction. This is kind of the interesting part in the solver. Uh, of course, we are not solving this equation directly. We take a few moments, and uh, by having those moments, we can basically uh, reconstruct the size distribution. The moments equation looks like uh, this equation here, and we have three different sources. One is due to coalescence and two due to uh, growth there. The other two problems that we have addressed in the solver is the material properties and the reaction kinetics. So for material properties, uh, we have added density, viscosity, and thermal conductivity of the foam within the solver, and we are taking into account a few reactions. Uh, the first one is foam density. Since we have information about the first order moment, which is telling us about basically the volume of bubbles per unit uh, liquid uh, foam, we can uh, basically relate that one to the density of the foam through this equation. So this is kind of new in the solver because the previous models, almost all of them, they relate, uh, they had related the, the foam density to the kinetics of the reaction. Uh, the next one is the foam viscosity. We have uh, two model implement two models implemented in the solver, a Newtonian and non-Newtonian, and then the thermal conductivity of the foam is related to the foam density. Uh, uh, for the kinetics, we basically applied a rather uh, simple kinetic scheme. Uh, we are including the uh, gelling reaction through adding this PDE here, a customized source term for the conversion of OH group. That tells us about the progress of gelling reaction. The next one is the blowing reaction. Again, similar approach has been taken here. We are uh, following the conversion of water. And two more PDEs for the amount of uh, a blowing agent and a CO2 in the foam. Talking about implementation, uh, we had two parallel uh, workflow here. We started with developing a prototype in MATLAB and C++. Then we shifted everything toward open foam. I mean, the, most of the time, we were basically focused on developing the solver in open foam. And for comparison purposes, we had everything in fluent as well. In terms of uh, validation, the typical validation test case for PU is the mixing cup. You usually add the two components and you measure the rising height, and you can relate the rising height with the foam density. You also measure the temperature. So we had different, uh, 12 different recipes, uh, and we tried to validate the solver with uh, these 12 measurements. Uh, for example, here you can see the foam uh, density versus time for two different cases when we had the lowest amount of water and the highest amount of water, and you can see the solver is actually capturing the experiments quite well. Uh, in terms of expansion here, you can see uh, two different types of expansions. We have the physical blowing agent, uh, which is called the physical, physically blown foam, and then having only CO2. So you can see that time-wise, uh, in terms of time, having a physical blowing agent is actually accelerating the foam expansion, while relying only on CO2, it might uh, need more time. Okay, to to finish up this talk, I'd like to remind you that we have developed a solver for PU foam expansion. It includes coupling PDE with uh, CFD. The solver itself uh, contains a few features, a few important features of the PU foam, such as bubble size distribution, kinetics of uh, different reactions, and uh, evolution of material properties during the polymerization. We have validated the solver uh, with some experiments, and if you are interested, you can, of course, access to the source code as well as the associated paper with this. Uh, thank you for watching this presentation, and sorry for the sound quality.